Nigeria's federal government has expressed worry over sharp practices being perpetrated by road contractors within the country, saying many of them attempt to shortchange government. Minister of Works, during a dialogue with contractors at the ministry's headquarters in Abuja, warned those in attendance that it will no longer be business as usual as complicit contractors will have their contracts revoked. Amadine Uyi reports. With about 195,000 kilometers of roads across the country, maintaining Nigeria's highways has continued to pose a major challenge for successive administrations. While many have called for a state of emergency on roads maintenance and repairs, Nigeria's current administration has pledged to tackle the problem of roads construction headlong. The Minister of Works were recently meeting with contractors saddled with road rehabilitation and repairs, expressed worry at sharp practices being perpetrated by many of them. The problem we have is strong construction materials and methods. And what some very smart contractors do is they mill the asphalt and put about 3%, 3% bitumen in it and lay back. That's the way Dangote and Hitek construct their own. That's what they did at Apapa. And it is very, very good. So we have to be engineers. We shouldn't just be intimidated by column or by size of a company. There is no way you destroy the existing subgrade and they take fresh laterite and put there. And you say the subgrade now is better than the existing subgrade. It's not possible. He says though efforts have been put in place by the ministry to ensure strict adherence to standards, it will no longer be business as usual. He also warned non-performing contractors to buckle up or lose contracts awarded to them. We have uh, clauses that will allow us to terminate the contract of uh, you know, any ongoing job that is not uh, you know, performing according to the contract specification and agreement. So we're going to be saying that there are also some contractors that have up to 28 jobs. They don't have the equipment. They are just looking for excuses here and there. We identify them and we pull them out of the non-performing contract. You know, I've uh, asked for 5% uh, equity contribution or a guarantee so that we will need to see your money. So we see where the money is coming from, we get assurance. You now give us 5% of it so that if you are wasting our time, you know, we should be able to use it to pay for our, you know, overtime and their allowances. The minister urged contractors under the ministry to be patriotic as they execute public contracts, saying their performance will benefit many using the roads. From Abuja, Amadine Uyi, reporting for News Central.